Hello, how are you doing? You may have heard of neural networks, but have you had a chance to really get up on the basic components that make up a simple artificial neural network? If not, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Artificial neural networks are inspired by the way the brains in humans work. Let me start by showing you a diagram of a simple artificial neural network. Each node in this network represents an artificial neuron. Each neuron is connected to all the other neurons in the next layer. Here you see an input layer. The input layer represents the input features or where the data is fed into the network. Each neuron in this input layer corresponds to a feature of the input data. Here you see two hidden layers. These are the layers between the input and the output layers. The hidden layers consist of neurons that perform computations and pass the results to the next layer. Lastly, you see the output layer. The output layer produces the final prediction or decision of the network. The number of neurons in the output layer depends on the type of task. A single neuron for binary classification or multiple neurons for multi-class classification or regression tasks. If you look closer at a specific neuron, each of the connections between neurons has a weight associated with them. Each weight is independent of the others. The weights determine the importance of the respective input. A small weight suppresses the importance of the input, while a large weight magnifies the importance. Each neuron computes the weighted sum of all its inputs, adds a bias term, and applies an activation function. The bias helps the model shift the activation function to fit the data better. The activation function determines whether a neuron activates, passing its signal to the next layer in the artificial neural network. There are several options when choosing an activation function. Activation functions introduce non-linearity to the model. Examples are ReLU, Sigmoid, TANH, and SoftMax. I'll do a video later deep diving into the pros and cons around all these activation functions. So when a neural network is created, how are the weights and biases determined? Well, initially, they're initialized to random values. The neural network can then be trained. Training a neural network involves a series of steps to optimize its weights and biases so that it can make accurate predictions. So what are the steps in training a neural network? Well, in the first step, we perform forward propagation. Input data is passed through the network layer by layer. Each neuron computes a weighted sum of inputs, adds a bias, applies an activation function, and produces an output. The network generates a prediction for a given input. In the next step, we perform the loss calculation. The prediction is compared to the expected outcome using a loss function. The loss quantifies the error between the predicted and actual value. In the third step, we perform backward propagation. The network computes gradients of the loss function with respect to the weights and biases using a chain rule. These gradients indicate how much each weight and bias contributed to the error. In the fourth step, weights and biases are updated the weights and biases are updated to minimize the loss. These four steps are repeated over multiple iterations where each iteration is also called an epoch. This is repeated until the network converges to an optimal solution. The process iteratively adjusts the weights and biases to improve its prediction. The weights and biases are known as trainable parameters. The number of parameters in a neural network influences its capacity to learn complex patterns. More parameters can enable a network to capture more intricate relationships in the data, but they can also increase the risk of overfitting, where the model performs well on the training data, but poorly on unseen data. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a high-level overview of the basic components of a simple artificial neural network. In future videos, I'll go deeper into activation functions, loss functions, and backpropagation. 
keep an eye out for these if these sound interesting to you. Okay, thanks for watching. This video along with all the other videos in this playlist are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day.